All right, so welcome back to the Growth Family Network. I wasn't gonna even do this video, but because I was out here just getting off of work, so I'm, I'm kind of rushing for time, and we gotta clean up these tomato plants. We got a little infestation. Uh, so one day you're smiling, and the next day you're crying, you know, with these tomato plants. So what we're gonna show you is what we've been doing, and actually you can come in. We don't want to lose all these tomatoes, and I'm gonna show you. Uh, as Bell show you some of the tomatoes that we have coming out. This is actually a better bush variety. And you can see we got, this is what's going on. So we want to catch this. I mean, they're going to get you a little bit, but, but don't, uh, when you see this happening, don't give up the fight. Like it's time to fight back right now. So we got our little uh, cutters we usually come out with some pliers and actually just pick them off because i found that some of the best uh some of the look at this one that's good look at this one right here you see that good. the best way to get these off is pliers now for, if y'all if y'all people work for peter don't say nothing because what, what i'm about to do usually if i got these in my hand i just either cut them off like that or i try to grab them off and then smash them anyway uh what we're doing now is we're pruning the plant and what we want to do is one thing we want to make it where it's not so congested where those things like that can get super huge um because they're just going to eat 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 and when they eat on the leaves when they get to your tomato they're going to taste those too uh, so what we want to do is down there what bells was showing you is not only are we trying to get to the past but we're trying to open the plant up so it can breathe and so it can be easier for our eyes to see those little bugs on there with a lot of foliage it's hard to see uh now with if you come on down here you will see this tomato plant i really really these two over here we really butchered them but these are a better bush variety which is a determinant variety um which means after these set we got a few more up here, but the majority of them that's gonna set is right here. It's not gonna keep climbing uh, like this one on the side of it. That one there will keep producing, keep producing. Um, but this one here, we can cut most of the foliage off because really it's done. A lot of these, as it starts to blush, you can pull them off or you can just leave this on the plant. Now it'll be more so protecting your plant from the birds rather than uh, those things but those things can eat your stuff up overnight uh, so what i'm going to show you is um this is what we've been doing we got some of them like i say some of them we smashed some of them we just took as much of this stuff off as we could uh that's one two buckets right here got another one over here i'm starting on this one down here and, and I got some nice size ones under here that I don't want to lose and, and I'm going to show you but you can see them starting to blush really well under there so I don't want those things to get on them. Uh, I'm going to show you how we do this. You can see I'm, I started on that. That's what this is down here. This is all for the trash. Now if I had the burn bucket going or a burn barrel going, I would just throw all of it in the burn barrel but don't have it going so we're going to go around to this one. And we're going to prune it. I'm going to show you how we do it. Just to give you a little. Uh, just to get you a little understanding. Of what we're doing. So we had Amanda's garden of course. Uh, sometimes you can try everything. If you look at this. If you look at this eggplant. You're going to see all these colors. This is cinnamon. Uh, pepper. You can see the pepper all on the ground. I have neem oil. We kind of been doing everything and sometimes you can do all that stuff and they still they still keep producing. You can kind of slow them down or slow the cycle down, slow the process down. Uh, but sometimes what I found the best pest control is actually your hands. You really got to, you can't just go the cheap route and, and just spray everything away. Sometimes you really got to get in here. Uh, so what I do is generally I like to keep everything off the ground that's the first thing you want to do to start so we start out down here and i'm sweating because i'm rushing and it's hot i think it got up to like 95 degrees today so starting to take that out anything that's like really really touching 
some of these small ones like this and I see a little damage on them sometimes I'll just go ahead on and lose it go ahead and take it off because you don't know what's in it might come out overnight sometimes you can see uh, but look right here what you want to look for is when you start seeing the little manure the little worm manure because they are there and you can see that one is right here hiding under this leaf so you can actually grab him off uh, don't try to get away from me so grab him off why is my oh I was about to say why I'm not closing ah gotcha <laughs> uh, but in my case I'm gonna take that whole leaf off because it's all over my little tomato cage I want to take that whole thing off I want to open this up if you can see up in here I can't see through that uh, so I I can't tell what's in there knowing that this is a determinate variety not worrying about cutting off the suckers I'll just get in there and start getting a few of them all I want to do is open this thing up where I can kind of see what's going on in there see this one my little lizard friends are not handling business like they should <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead on and open it up ourselves and that's what i'm doing now you can cut half of the leaf off for those that's not really damaged but what i'm really concerned about is sometimes the worms get on these leaves and then they just go ahead on and lean over into that so what i'm really concerned about is getting in there and actually getting those off of my tomatoes so that's what i like to do this one see how it's up in there like stuck in there the plant gets big and that's where they want to go I'm gonna get a few more off of here now I'm gonna work the top in the middle and I just want to open it up a little bit so like I said sometimes you prune I got a spider right there by my hand sometimes you prune oh, you're for dying. pest oh, I got the spider and everything let it go yeah <laughs> I don't want to miss the spider I just want to get this plant out of here sometimes you're pruned for pests keep these plants from touching see how this one is going over to the next cage get that one out of there and sometimes it's for airflow so you got your pest problems you got your touching problems and you got your airflow problems that you want to clear up a little bit so I'm going in here a little quick and you can see how that's kind of opening up and I want to get anything that's pinned down or touching each other especially especially touching the tomato itself like those I'll go up in there and get those little leaves off and you can see how that's kind of starting to clean up a little bit so most of them you can leave them on because I do want to block it so the birds don't really have like full access but you can see now how clean it is compared to how it was before and now it's easier for me to actually get in there and look you see anything oh look at that one look at that one let me get that see how huge yeah and they'll eat and eat and eat and eat. Those don't get to live here. Cause I don't know how they reproduce. Now I could have just, if this was a skinny plant, I could have just went in there and just got just that leaf and cut them in half. But because I'm trying to prune it and kind of open it up, I just went ahead on and took it off. So you can see now the difference of these plants and all you can see is all of this that's just getting ready. All we wanted to do is ripen up. You can see the blushing down there and as they ripen, I don't want any of that stuff. Nothing that encourages pests. But now it's open. I really can see. And bring them over here so I can let them see this one. One of my biggest ones, by me not having that pruned out, y'all probably can see that. One of our biggest ones. Look at that. Look how they got in there. And this is fresh. This is fresh. 
can that be? So I can take this off and you can do your fried green tomatoes or what I've been noticing, it can it'll actually heal over on the plant. Like as long as you know nothing's in there, it's gonna kind of dry out and heal over. So at least you know what you got. But at least tomorrow when we come out, we'll be able to really get in here and look. And that won't happen tomorrow what actually happened today so we'll go ahead on and continue we really wanted to get that over to y'all because i didn't want to do a video and then somebody would see like everything pruned up and you'll be like hey how did y'all do that like why did y'all do that so uh when you see some of our videos and we'll be showing the tomatoes as they ripen and then you will know why we did it and you look right here oh my gosh we got <laughs> more work more work to do so these are ripening up really well, which is our little. Uh, they will let, let Bill and I'm in I mean, Ernie. Yeah, so the baby likes to pull them and eat them. My son was eating some this morning. I ate some this morning. Uh, so these will be a good snack. Chop them up in your salad, or juice them, or freeze them, whatever you like to do. Um, I think that's it. We're gonna keep working. Uh, I want to say thank you all for watching. Thanks for subscribing try to hit that like button every now and then because that's what gets us to the next person that's what makes youtube share us to the next family uh so thank you for watching the grow family network and as always grow 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 i had to make sure i had three tomatoes peace